Hi, today we're going to learn how to draw hands. Now, a lot of people, when they draw hands, they just kind of do some scribbles for the fingers and call it good. They just go in, do it really quick, all of them about the same size, maybe they'll add a thumb if they have to, coming over here, and it just, it doesn't look realistic. It looks great for cartoons, but it's not realistic. Or they might even just draw all hands Lego style and there you go, you got that. But hands, we really need to think of hands as a series of shapes. Looking at my hand, I am looking at this and I see a square and rectangles. And another rectangle there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a square and I'm going to measure out about that same distance and from this bottom corner of the square, that's where my thumb attaches. Now the thumb may bend and the thumb may do some other stuff, but that's where it really does attach. Now there's a little bit of a triangle from the attachment up to here, so we can add that in. A little bit of triangle there. Now, come on out of focus, be nice. Okay, there we go. Now the fingers are never taller than the same distance between the palm to there as to the fingers. So if we just draw a secondary square, and I'm just putting dots there since I can't erase, but you can put that, and I cut this square in half, and I cut those halves in half to make quarters, I have a pretty good setup for my square. Now I'm just going to make only the middle finger the tallest, and then kind of goes down as it goes that way because the fingers should be different heights. Um, your middle finger is gonna be tallest, and this finger might be the tallest one after that. Some people have it switched, and that's okay. And of course, your pinky is gonna be pretty far down there. So, my middle finger, I'm just gonna separate into thirds. I'm gonna separate this into thirds by just putting two lines there. And those lines should mostly be about the same spots. Uh, not all of them are really going to line up 100%, but it's pretty close. And we can go in and we can add the palm creases there. And we can add some curved lines for our fingertips. And we've got a good start. Now what I like to do after drawing my shape hand is to actually trace over it. But that's kind of hard to do in Sharpie. So I'm going to draw another one over to the side using this little thin Sharpie. Same process. Fingers, hand. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add a little bottom of the hand little curves that we have there. That's going to connect back up to that line. I'm going to add in my patch of skin in between the thumb and the finger. I'm going to round out the thumb. I'm going to round over the tops of my fingers. Now at the back of the thumb, I'm going to keep pretty straight. I'm not going to add much roundness on it. I'm going to round up this area, the pad of the fingers, and then round that way. And now we've got a pretty cool looking hand. Now we can do the same thing if we want to see the other side of the hand. Square. with the difference being that we'll need to add fingernails. So I'll just add those in first. Now the thumbnail is going to be kind of off to the side, and that's okay. Then I draw my curves.
Now we don't see the in stuff on the inside of the palm there because it's on the outside of the hand. Add a little bit for the arm and there we go. Now, if you want to change up the fingers, we do that when we draw the shapes. So let's say I want to draw some fingers uh, down. Well, looking at that, my fingers are going to come down and cross over what I already have. And if my thumb comes out and then over, now when I go through, I'll add my fingernails. Add my knuckles. round out all of my shapes. Make the bottom of the hand. And there we go. We've got a hand. And if we wanted to, we could make it a holding on to something or something else. But as you move the fingers around, you just change the shapes that are there. So this time I moved the rectangles down a little bit lower because they are coming down this way. And I even small half the size. Play around with some different poses for your fingers. Try a few of these by changing where the shapes come out. You can have different expression on the hand. So your fingers, they move, and but they all attach to the same point. So you can move them diagonally from all those different places. All right. Now, as you get more advanced with your handwork, you can go through and you can start breaking down the shape into individual fingers. This finger, of course, is not just one rectangle. three and each of these have their own areas and we can come up and round them up add these lines that kind of show a little bit more the more natural area because things that are natural are not very straight line they've all got some random curves to them we can throw a little fingerprint on there if we want to and that's kind of just how it goes. So I've got one finger there. I can actually draw my next finger looking at it. I can add it kind of to here and my next. And you can go through. As you go more advanced, you, you can always go through and start sh shading these. And looking at your fingers as you go you can make some really cool pictures. Now, if you leave these looking pretty uh, rectangular, you're going to end up with something that kind of feels robotic. And that's OK if you're drawing a robot. But if you're drawing a person, you just want to go back in and kind of trace over all your drawings, changing some stuff to make sure that Everything kind of has a flow and is very curvy. Forgive the squeaky marker. It's just getting kind of old. That's what happens. And, you know, this being the more advanced version they had, What's another shape that we can see? Can we break this down into another rectangle here? A larger triangle there? Absolutely. Breaking down the individual parts in the hand, come up, have this padding that's right there, for, and then kind of go in and round it off around each kind of finger. And then have kind of a larger triangle that's kind of rounded still here. Another one.
a smaller little rectangle that triangle sorry that connects our thumb and our thumb is also we can have it be bent as you play with hands there's more and more and more things you can do to create some really cool looking hands play with it try it out make some mistakes try as many different poses but keep it simple at first go for the simple you can do this and then you can do this keep working keep playing and do your very best I'm very proud of you and I know you'll do amazing stuff after all We can go from here to there. Just by thinking about the shapes and about the fingers and about the poses. The more you draw something, the better you get at it. So if you stink at drawing hands, keep drawing hands. Have a great day.